For this stem bite, I'd like to talk about speeding. When I'm driving down the road, especially on the highway, I tend to want to go a little bit faster than what the speed limit says. If the speed limit's 25, I like to go 30. I figure, what cop's gonna pull me over for going five over the speed limit? But the more I learned about math, the more I realized that speeding really just doesn't make sense. The difference between going 70 and 75 makes such a small difference in the time that you actually arrive that it really doesn't even justify the risk. The trick is this, instead of thinking about how many miles you're going in each hour, miles per hour, most of us tend to think about how much time it takes to get a certain distance. Instead of printing our speedometers with a number of miles per hour, we should show you how much time it would take to go one mile at that speed. I mean, that's what we really care about, right? Is how fast can I get there? If we did that, we'd see something surprising. We'd see that the difference between going 40 miles an hour and 60 miles an hour means you save 30 whole seconds. But going up to 80 miles an hour only saves you 15 seconds. In fact, the difference between 70 and 75 miles per hour only saves you three seconds over an entire minute. For most of our driving, when we're only driving 10 or 15 minutes, the gain we get by speeding is so small that it really doesn't justify the risk. The relationship between the speed you go and the time it takes you to get somewhere is what we call an inverse relationship. It looks kind of like this. It's just another way to show that the faster you go, the less that speeding helps you. It really doesn't save you any time. Stand by.